Hello BEA beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Renee and I am a Juilliard trained opera singer. In today's video I will be reacting to a very 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 highly requested video. We're going to be reacting to So Yang performing Bridge Over Troubled Water. I should mention I have heard this song before and I was actually going to sing it for a competition when I was much younger, so I'm very excited to hear what this rendition is. You guys got me all excited for this one because the amount of comments that I've gotten, do So Yang, why haven't you done So Yang yet? Where's So Yang? I am like, okay, we're gonna do her now because <laughs> like, lord, I cannot handle the amount of comments. So. I'm very excited. I'd love to start off first by looking her up just to see who she is and what she does um, because I don't know this artist. So we're gonna do that now so that we can show others who might not know about So Hyang who she is. Kim So Hyang, born April 5th, 1978, credited as So Hyang, is a South Korean singer known for her controlled, skillful, and developed voice who has been dubbed by the international media as the Korean Mariah Carey. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> According to So Hyang, her goal is to use her voice to comfort people who are going through difficult times. So Hyang is also an author of fiction who has published multiple fantasy novels since 2013. Okay, I already love her. The fact that, oh my gosh, that's the same reason why I sing. My goal is to give people joy and to make them happy. And in these times, of course, like that's why I'm doing all of this is to make you guys happy. And I get comments from you all the time, just saying how I'm brightening your days and how all of this music is just making everything better for you. And that brings me the most, just like the ultimate joy. So the fact that her, on her Wikipedia page, the top thing, says that her goal is to use her voice to comfort people going through difficult times. Okay, I love her already. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited to get into this video. If you have been to my channel before, welcome back. Good to see you. And if you are new here, please feel free to head on down below this video and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can join my BEA beautiful family and be notified of all of my upcoming future videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maggie Renee Music so that you can join me on my adventures as a singer living in New York City, studying at Juilliard, and traveling the world, taking you on stage and backstage with me. Also, I would really appreciate your support on Patreon as that is the best way to support this channel. Not to mention exclusive perks and benefits like live streams and behind the scenes. If you do choose to become a BEA beautiful Patreon patron, I just want to say thank you so much in advance for your support. Another way that you can support this channel is by becoming a green Skittle. Skittle Squad, let me hear you down below. Please feel free to hit that join button next to the subscribe button and join this channel so that you can stand out from the crowd in the comment section of these videos, my live streams, and my premieres. Shout out to these BEA beautiful people who watched my last video all the way to the end. If you would like a shout out just like these BEA beautiful people, then please watch this video all the way to the end, hit the like button below this video, and look out for the secret emoji that comes somewhere at the end of this video, and then comment that below. That's the secret. All right, let's get into this video. Ready? So gorgeous already. When you're really nice use of head voice. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Huh. Sorry, it's very, very early, but. Oh, 
Oh, she's doing such a beautiful job of just emphasizing the correct words and oh my gosh I can already tell from her singing that she does match up with her goal like she's using her voice right now to bring the ultimate joy like she's not doing anything crazy it's just the most pure sound so far and like I just the way she's hugging the words and the way she's singing them ah, I'm already happy ah, okay what is about to happen y'all <laughs> This is also very, very good use of head voice here. She's just letting the breathiness come through and let the voice sound very, very sweet. When you're weary, feeling small. It's all very, very sweet. Okay, I want to listen to that again, and then we're going to keep going. Do you hear the sweetness? Small. Even the vowels. There's so many things happening. I have to pause, my goodness. I know this part just seems really like simple and it is, but the way she's controlling her voice is just stunning. She's got all of these different colors, but in this one sweet little path that she's using. And that really, that high note, that is a hard place to figure out a way to sing that stably. And she does that really, really well, especially in this quiet kind of a way beautiful okay i want to listen to that little high part one more time just to hear that and then she has like this little rich calm down oh my gosh okay i have to stop nerding out but very very beautiful so far okay Did you hear that? That was an interesting use of straight tone there. She didn't have any vibrato. I will me down. It's an interesting skill to have, even to just do straight tone, because you're kind of making sure your vibrato is not interrupting in there, and that was a really good use of that. So, very interesting. In opera, we kind of prefer not to use straight tone, unless it's in like the Baroque genre, for example. If you're doing Carmen, you wouldn't want You'd want like a bunch of like vibrato and roundness and richness. But if you're doing like a Baroque piece, like when I am There's still some portions of vibrato, but we do tend to use some straight note accents. And every, of course, the preferences are different for everybody, but that's essentially what she's kind of doing here in this style. So, very cool. All right, let's keep going. Very beautiful.
hold on. Oh, oh my god, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I don't want to pause at all, but oh my god. No, I don't even want to pause. Why did I just pause? I have to pause. Hold on. There's so much going on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, girl can sing. Girl is taking us to church right now. Like, legitimately. Like, she is running and doing all these amazing things. And oh my gosh, I was not expecting that from this performance. I, oh, whoa. <laughs> The amount of colors, y'all, the amount of strength, and then still maintaining that like connection of joyness, of joyousness, being joyful with the audience is just gorgeous. You can see people in the audience just closing their eyes because they're just in the moment. They don't even have to look to see like this just grandiose music. Ah, my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. And was she even breathing? I was just listening to that and it just seemed like she was like wailing out. I love the way that she opens her vowels up. It doesn't feel like anything gets stuck. She's just letting it all out and she has this natural voice that has a really high belt. So she's able to take her voice up there without having strain or any kind of like craziness. But you can see how she's adjusting her mouth in a wider position to get these belts out. And she's using like a full kind of a chest voice up there. Of course she has mixed moments in there because it's very high, but Okay, I am gonna stop talking and we're gonna listen to that again. Oh my gosh. That's really beautiful. She has such a nice, I mean like after belting all of that, it's really hard to go into this kind of like light falsetto like ah, But then at the same time, it's kind of just like a moment to relax. She's letting her throat release again and just giving herself a moment. You can tell just how great of a technique she has because she's able to not be tired after all the singing and she's able to kind of go up there. I don't hear any fatigue in her voice. I don't hear any kind of loss of sound because of all the belting that she just did. It's still beautiful and vibrant and resonating well. She does have a couple moments where her face kind of like drops a little bit to get these notes. Like she's like a, like she has to like kind of scoop underneath it, but it's like the, the sound that comes out is what's just like, yes, yes, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so extra. Okay, let's keep watching. And this goes like... <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that audience is gonna stand. Oh my gosh. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Just gosh, gosh. Guys, I have a new vocal crush. I loved that. Not only was the performance vocally done so well, but the way that she gives herself, I love singers that give themselves to their audiences. Dimash does this. Everyone that is just like on stage and completely open and like singing out to them. It's just, oh my gosh. Hello, Sohyang. Welcome to Maggie's channel. <laughs> The only other things that I can mention about the technical aspect of this is that at the end, I didn't want to mess it up at the end. It was just too good. I wanted to just listen to that. But now, uh, I really loved the crying that she kind of did. Like, you could hear the vocal breaks in her voice as she was doing this because it was so, there was so much passion that she allowed her voice. It's a purposeful break. And I've talked about this before in my previous videos of, uh, about purposeful breaks and how to use them in the voice. And just, she uses that to convey the emotion, to show how honest she's being in her voice which is gorgeous and then also like I mentioned she does a lot of cute things I love she added that little speaking portion into the song all of those things are like little vocal um, methods of just kind of taking a pause taking a beat to be able to come back in in that stronger color it's just a release essentially and she just does all of that beautifully and it's got all these great effects it shows the contrast within the song and allows her to kind of take her audience to different places you know within the same song gorgeous. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment down below what you enjoyed and what you would like me to hear next, and subscribe to join my BEA beautiful family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Megirene Music so that you can join me on my adventures as an opera singer living in New York City, studying at Juilliard, and traveling the world, taking you on stage and backstage with me. I really hope that y'all enjoyed that as much as I did, and I am sending you all so, 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 so much love, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.